It does seem to be the dividing line now, doesn't it? Because, of course, Keir Starmer has been pushing for this since mid-August, and now the Conservatives have said, OK, yes, we're going to go ahead with this. But Labour were always clear this would be paid for by a windfall tax on energy firms. Now, I was talking to a senior Labour adviser yesterday... And they were saying, yeah, we're, we're very glad that they're taking this on board, but who is going to pay for this? Because Liz Truss has been very clearly against windfall taxes. Mm. She wants to reverse the rise on corporation tax. She wants to be pro-business. She wants to be supportive of business. She wants to be encouraging growth. So it does sound like, ultimately, the bill is not going to be paid for by businesses. It is likely to be paid for by the government, which ultimately yes. is the British us. taxpayer. So it is us. So while I think it will be very welcome news to everybody Absolutely. who would have been totally panicking about how am I going to pay £7,000, a lot of people, most people, can't, don't have access to that sort of money come, come next year. Um, I think there will be a real concern that sooner or later it is going to be us that's footing the bill for is that. There, is there also a danger, and, and you know, Liam has touched on this before, where we're looking at the value for, of the pound, for instance, that the international money markets and others think we're starting to live beyond our means, that yeah. we, are, we are more akin to an emerging economy when we look at, at you know, the financial situation. And that, on top of the energy issue, is something that the government's going to have to address i.e. get some kind of, of economic uh, credence internationally. Yes, absolutely. And there have been warnings during the campaign, yeah. haven't there? Rishi Sunak has always been saying, you know, we can't put this on the credit card, talking about inflation being stoked, inflation is at 10%. It's going to go probably to 18 possibly even 20% next year. That's going to erode all of our living standards massively. So I think the markets are concerned. Uh, the pound has dropped to uh, something like a 40-year low against the dollar. I think there was a little bit of a bounce this morning with the news that there's going to be an energy freeze. But I think there is a lot of worry and a lot of uncertainty, and we are racking up big bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah.